Hello and welcome back. Hey, my name's C. Scott, and today we are again on Sky Factory 3. Well, you would think that, but in looking at where we're at, are we in outer space? Nah, nah, there ain't no outer space in Sky Factory. But hey, we are, we're back here on the, uh, on the Sky Factory 3, and we're doing some good stuff today. I'm going to apologize now. Today is going to be a longer episode than I want, but we have a ton of things we have to do. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, come in and we got to get ore processing going, okay? So Will and I have kind of discussed reborn storage, and reborn storage has kind of the auto crafting abilities and stuff. We're nervous about using that. Um, very nervous in the simple fact that we've watched and seen a couple other people do it, and it's and it causes some significant TPS issues uh, on the server, and that's something we're not wanting. Uh, so we're going to start down here. We're going to do ore processing. All right, we are going to use the engine, the workshop table. All right. Now, what is so cool about this is that you can add in and have four things processing at the same time on this thing, and they go super, super fast, right? So we're going to have nine, eight of them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all centered around this little spot here, okay? And so let's go upstairs and let's get these things so we can auto-craft them. And, ooh, we're going to need some more patterns. Patterns, 64, start. Okay, there, there we go. And let's pull the rest out here so we've got them. Okay, so we are working on at engineers. And this is the workshop table we're going to want to do. So the, we've already got a blank upgrade in there. So all we need to do is to make that. All right, easy, easy, easy. And then uh, let's see what we got for upgrades. Uh, at uh, engineer okay so okay i've made all the upgrades here pretty much for it okay um charger speed queuing efficiency rf solar now we don't need solar auto transfer uh i don't think we'll need the filter transfer capacity upgrade uh yeah we're gonna want that one and so let's do the filter filter and easy enough okay so we'll do a filter one and we're gonna do this to uh, do transfer capacity okay and I think that we've got that one in there but let's just take a look one more time and okay so we don't we didn't have that eh, do we actually we do dang it that's okay so again, just shift click, shift right click with it and it clears it. And so we'll go down and drop these in to our crafters, which we're now getting all the way over here to the third stage of these. And there we go. All right. So let's craft up eight total at, all right. Uh, we need another seven. Okay, start, start boom okay so here are those beautiful guys and we're gonna place those down here and here okay so inside these we're gonna put sag mills all right um and so let's go upstairs and i do not think that we have a sag mill automated yet so cool we we can do that sag mill all right, sag mill is going to be. We, I think we've already got a piston. I don't know about machine casing. Uh, uh, yes, we do have machine casing. So uh, it should be. Let's check and see if we got a piston too, just to be safe. I know we do. Yep, we do. I just kind of get lost here with all of this uh, sag mill. There it's. All right, boom, boom, boom. Okay. I will take him and drop him downstairs here now. And there we go. Okay, so we have a total of seven of these guys and that you can put four total sag mills in them, right? So we need four times seven is 28. So let's do 28 of the sag mills. And we got plenty of stuff, boom. 
There we go. Here's our 28. Okay, and now what we need to do is you come in here to the upgrade and we're just going to add sag mills to each one of these on the upgrade tab. And then from here, we will then go to the next piece of it. Okay. Uh oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what? I can't do math. I can't do stinking multiplication. <laughs> so I just can't. I think we need another four. Start, start. <laughs> yeah, I said 27. 27 times four, but we actually, we, we didn't account for the eighth one that we had here. All right, so now we've got all these guys in here, right? So we're gonna have to provide power to them and we're gonna have to uh, get material into them. So that is what we're gonna clear out underneath here, okay? So they are going to get material added to them and come here there we go and this should work pretty well so we'll bring everything up underneath and take everything out underneath um, and then actually we may pull everything out up on top so we'll bring underneath and we'll come out on top and then along the back row here we're gonna have some furnaces and not just any furnace but we are going to use the ultimate furnace here right here right and that thing is kicking you guys have seen that in the past what we've been doing with it we're gonna add it to everything and uh, it should be pretty cool all right and we'll figure a way to get everything working for it but yeah that's the goal that we're gonna have okay give me just a second I'm gonna grab a bunch of the upgrades and then I will show you guys what upgrades we're gonna add to each one of these all right I will see you guys when I'm done with the upgrades Okay, we are back and ready to get after it with these upgrades and everything. All right, so we're going to do these. So one way to look at these real quick is if you hit shift, it'll tell you, see where it says doesn't stack very well, works with crafting tables, right? So it means it cannot be stacked. You only do one of them. Now, if you hit control, it'll tell you what it goes to. So you see the parents crafting on that one. Parent for this one, for the storage upgrade is crafting too. Four, let's take for instance the queuing upgrade, right? It can stack up to three and it works with furnishes and crushers and the parents for smelting and crushing, right? Easy enough. Now let's look at the RF acceptor upgrade. Uh, it, again, this one doesn't stack well and it upgrades the entire table. So that parent is global. And so when you come in here and you select your upgrades, right? Your global upgrades will go here and the other ones that will go along with each one of your your different uh, what you're doing, the function of the actual uh, workshop table, what it goes to. So real quickly here, uh, we are going to need to get a bunch of these and I, I hope we have enough stuff because I haven't checked. All right. So we're going to start with the charger upgrade, right? And there's a charger upgrade. Boom. We're going to need a total of 256 of those. Boom, start, go. Okay, so we got 256 of those. Speed, uh, where's the speed at? Queuing sp uh, speed, right? Boom, we're also gonna need 256 of those. Okay, start and go. All right, so we've got those and w let's pull those both out and i'll show you what we're going to do with those so here's our uh, here's our charger upgrades and speed upgrades are coming out let's get 12 queuing all right queuing nope power capacity we do not want to start with that it'll throw me off here just a second 256 boom okay so queuing we need a total of 96 of those 96 boom boom start and start okay and we'll pull out the speed upgrades uh, i don't need the lead i want the speed upgrades speed upgrades there we go okay and those queuing upgrades are about done there we go and let me show you what we're going to do with those all right so charger upgrades are going to be if you look at it it's going to eight per 
uh, crusher, right? Or sag mill. So uh, let's pull this out. Okay, so I want eight, 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 and then that's going to go around each one of the tables, okay? So that's what I'm going to do for each one of those. Speed upgrades, same situation. And you can just double click those in. All right, and again, I will go through each table and do that. Uh, charger. Uh, okay, and then finally, queuing. Okay, queuing is for each one of those. So there's our three for each one of those. And there is that. Okay, so let's. So we've done our queuing upgrades. So we need efficiency upgrades. Uh, if I can type. Uh, efficiency upgrades and those are going to be this four for the entire table so we need a total of 32 of those start with those um, RF acceptor upgrades which is this I've already got one so we're gonna need a total of seven of these uh, one two three four five six and seven start uh, auto transfer which is right yeah, where's the auto transfer at? There. Auto transfer. So we've got one and it does not stack. So we're going to need another total of seven of those. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Start. Okay. And a filter. So we're going to need a total of eight filters because uh, those do not, they don't stack. It's a global. Uh, transfer capacity. Uh, do, do, do. Where's transfer capacity upgrade? Okay, total of six. So we're going to need 48 of these. Start. Yep. Okay. And finally, power capacity, which, okay, well, let me, let's pull some of these out here while we go. There, there. And we're looking for power capacity. Power capacity, 16 for the entire table. So that will mean that we're going to need 128. Start. Okay, and good. Okay, it should be fairly quick. Everything's everything's really going pretty quick. Auto transfer, let's pull those out. No, <laughs> that's not what we wanted. There, auto transfers. And I think I saw one other one up in there that we need to pull out. Eh, maybe, possibly. Now let's let this finish crafting up here. Okay, while that goes, let's go ahead and continue adding to this. Okay, so we've added our queuing. Efficiency upgrades, right? Four per thing. So we've added the charger upgrades, which I'm kind of kind of clean up our inventory here as we go. Speed upgrades we've added. Transfer capacity. There's our total of six for that. And let's keep moving stuff around and cleaning up. This one's already got the RF in it. It's already got one power capacity. So uh, auto transfer. Yep, we need that one in there. And let's let, grab the last one out of here. So at, and here's our 128 power capacities. Okay, and we don't have any more that are in there. Okay, good. Uh, power capacity, boom, 16 total, okay. So that should take care of all of that. Man, what a mess this makes the inventory, huh? So if we go back through here, you see we've got the charger upgrades, we've got the speed upgrades, we've got queuing, we have efficiency, we have the RF acceptor, auto transfer, a filter. Oh, that's the one we're missing. A filter. We have transfer capacity. And we have the power capacity. So boom, boom, boom. Perfect, right? All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through and I'm going to add all of these to the, to the rest of them. And I'll catch you guys when I get done with this. All right? <laughs> this will be fun. All right, everything is added to all of these, okay? And this is what it looks like. So this is maxed out upgrade of what we're going to be able to do, okay? So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to work on putting together all of the piping and everything for this. Um, and so what we're going to want to do is we're going to pull out of our RF system and we're going to tell our, our refined storage, hey, this is what we want to put in here, okay? And we're going to put in here all of the ores that we have here. So just you name it and it's going to go in there and it'll all be crushed up. 
Okay, the only thing about this is you don't get, all right? You are not going to get the additional chance of certain things coming out of the sag mill. Um, that is the only the drawback that I see. But we have so much stuff. I mean, we have tons and tons of stuff. And I don't think thermal dynamics is in here. Uh, and it's not. So if it was, then it may be worthwhile for, to me to, to do that. This is just so stinking fast. It's going to go faster than a normal sag mill. And it's going to go four times as fast. You're going to see this thing go go crazy, crazy fast. All right. And that's what we want. But let me get all the piping hooked up here and I'll show you how this is going to work for us. All right. And, and we will see you guys when that is done. All righty. So we got all of our upgrades in and wait, let's here we go. So now as we look here at this, we've got underneath here, we've got both energy conduit and item conduits. And in the item conduits, we have an in and out. So we got it going in on the green and coming out on the red. And, and it's always on. So what it's going to do is it's coming out of this chest here. And this is coming out of green with 15 speed upgrades to it. And it's coming back into this chest. So let's just try this out real quick. Let's grab some cobble and let's two stacks how long does it take to do two stacks here let's remove all this out all right here we go ready boom boom okay and it's gonna go fairly quickly through there okay and actually it's not gonna go super quick because i've only got it set up into one here but but look at this it should already be coming out almost one stack done boom sweet it is very 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 quick all right and that is only really should be just this one working here. Yep. But see how fast that is? It's phenomenal how fast. And that is only one going. So to set this up here, we're going to come here, go to your transfer mode, go to the actual sag mill in relationship to how it works here, right? And we're going to say down, select mode, down, auto transfer input, input, input. And we're going to do that for each one of them. And then you can filter and blacklist and whitelist coming in too. So, but all right, there and here and here. So, let's make sure they all show pink. And there we go. So, we'll let this fill up with power. One of the glitches is here that uh, if this thing's not full of power when you exit out of it, I've been having issues with it. It kicks me off the server from the client side. Uh, work and look through the wiki, there's some issues with it. But not ultimately it, it, to me the risk or the the reward for using this because it's so quick is is well worth it so all right so now that we got all four of those done let's actually see how much quicker it's going to take to do these two stacks so you guys saw that it was about 15 20 seconds right two stacks in here boom here we go ready again and you will notice how much quicker there we go look at that all right, it is, it is phenomenally freaky and that is only one of these working, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna put in how we transfer all of these guys. So I've gotta come around and do this to each one of them, which isn't a bad thing, it just takes a little bit of time to set up. But once it's set up, we are good. So shouldn't be any major issues and then we'll, uh, we'll get moving with it. So give me just a bit and we'll catch you guys uh, when I get all this complete. Alrighty, we have all of this set up now. So let's now take a quick look at what it's going to take with all eight of them running to do say four, six stacks of cobble. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Remember these other ones were in here. Look at that. All right, that's why I have the chest on it so it can buffer because it goes pretty quick. All right, so now that we know that this is working, the thing we need to set up next is our ultimate furnaces along the back here. So I'm thinking we've got eight of these and I'm thinking maybe one, two, three, four, five. We do five ultimate furnaces along the back there. And if that won't keep up, then we'll do seven total. But I think we're going to do five. 
So let's look at what an ultimate furnace is here. An ultimate furnace, right? So wither skulls, nether stars, and the superium. The su yep, the superium furnace and superium blocks. And ironically enough, guess who already has this crafted up? <laughs> ultimate furnaces. Actually, Willie's already got a full stack of them. Thanks, buddy. I sure appreciate you leaving me 64 of these guys. <laughs> okay, so we're going to need to do this. And then we're also going to need to do, uh, we're going to need to power these uh, with some sort of, uh, oh, whatchamacallit, uh, some sort of fuel. And can we use coal? By all means, we can. But I think it's time. Let's fly back over here. I think we're going to want to do and add one of these resonators to maybe our system here. And we just let that continuously crank. So we'll, we'll get one of those added to the back system here. And we're going to put coal into that. And oop, let's go. Here we go. And then we'll have that filled with, with red coal. All right. So that is that is what we'll do with that. And then these guys are just going to take item conduits. We're going to pull it out of this chest and we're going to hook it up here. So that's what I'm about to do. Uh, let me put all these ultimate furnaces back because there's no need for all of those. And there's that. Uh, we can pull out. Yeah, see how that, I mean, this stuff's just so super quick. Um, once, once you get it all set up, it's a little bit of a pain to set up in the beginning, but as you can see, it works really, really fast. So we could actually probably put a ninth one up there too, but it's okay for now. All right. So I'll be back with you. Let me hook all of this up and we'll hook, do a resonator back here and we'll get coal going and all will be good. So I will see you guys when this is finished. Okay, here we go. So we now have the ultimate furnaces all put in the back here. And up on the top is where we're going to feed in the all of uh, our process to, or the the ground down ores we got, right? So we have the item conduits on the bottom. They're going to come out of the obsidian chest we have down here and come up and around. Um, a little hokey. I could have probably set this whole thing up with colors, but, uh, you know, with the different channels, I just, I, at this point in time, I'm a little nervous about it. I hate dealing with all of that extra stuff so uh, it feeds in the top and then down at the bottom it's going to feed back into our refined storage system which will go boop, 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 and it's that simple and so real quickly let's um we got some in here i mean this is yep in there and the resonator here is just kicking out so full chest in here should always keep this thing running so it, it shouldn't be bad we get this filled up with 64 you know full stacks all the way of, of uh, the red coal and that should never be a problem um, we could actually have it feed into here automatically and uh, some coal so but no that is this is the system and if we want to see it work real quick Let's uh, I'll, I'll finish the automation piece of it uh, as far as hooking it up to the system and everything uh, once we get this done. But I want to keep it separate just for now. So let's grab uh, how many? Uh, that's, uh, that's a ton. OK, so we'll throw all of that into here. OK, and it should be coming into here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it should be coming into here. Uh, do I have? Oh, I need to set all these to insert. Yep, there you go. See, insert, insert, and insert, and one more. And yeah, I mean, it just, these things are, it, it's going to be crazy to try to keep up with this. I mean, this is, oh, and you see what we run into the issues with right here? Speed upgrades. So we need to get some speed upgrades uh, for that. Oh, man, somebody is so nice and already has his 15 of them there. That's probably Willie. <laughs> All right, there. So now you see, boom, that is full. 
That is full. That is full. That is full. And that is full. Okay, so let's see here. How long did it take me? Oh, to get all this. Done, done, and done. Beautiful. If I didn't have to screw around up there, three or four minutes, 50 seconds maybe. I think it's good. All right, I'm gonna clean all of this up and we'll make, we'll put all this back into our system here. Yeah, so I'm gonna clean all this up. I'm gonna hook it into our system and we will turn it on and then we can watch it go because it's, it's gonna be fun. I mean, you can sit back here and watch this fill up and watch this fill up and watch these tries try to keep up so all right i will catch you when i get all this beautified and finally hooked into our system all righty hey we are back and finalized with this so this is what ended up coming out we've got clear glass here inside there that protects all of those but that's good all right and then on the back we've got our five ultimate furnaces and if we go to our wrench, you can see all of the, the different uh, things that we've used here, the conduit facades. All right, underneath, we end up going with item conduits, um, just for the simple fact of trying to route all of those exporter or importers down underneath here just wasn't gonna work. So what's gonna happen is, again, everything's gonna drop into the obsidian chest here. It will come over here and, and be backlogged into here if need be, and then it'll come back into this iron chest before it's put back into the system. And this one here has got speed upgrades and stack upgrades, so it goes pretty quick. And I'm going to be need to do the same thing for the exporter here. So we'll go with a stack upgrade. And we'll start. We'll get one of them. And then some speed upgrades. One, two, three. And we'll throw those in there. Okay, so the final piece of this is to tell the system what we want it to process. So if we look at ores here, or uh, we don't want to do coal, we want it to do iron, copper, lead, uh, box it there, uh, silver, gold, nickel, and um, we'll go ahead and say draconium. Okay, I think draconium will run through this. Uh, let's just double check it here. Actually, we're just gonna put it in here anyways, all right? So real easy, we just come through here and there, and you'll now notice that sucker fills up already. <laughs> okay, and it's all gonna be coming into here, and it's going straight into the furnaces. Okay, we got that, look how quick it's, it's processing stuff. So we can quickly look here. We're dropping an iron, and we're going up here. So really, really sweet. And that is it. That is how we do that. And now these guys are going to, I mean, they're going to try to stay full, but we may need to upgrade and add more of these here. So, but we'll see how it works. We'll give it a while and let it go. But hey, uh, that's it for the day. And so uh, if you guys got any questions, concerns, complaints, hey, blip, by all means, leave them in the comments. And uh, something that was useful, hey, please leave a like and subscribe if you got a chance. Hey, this is C. Scott, and we'll see you all again very very soon.